What is up guys? My name is Ninja Gamer and welcome back to the series Silver League Random Dude Casts Pro Games. The intention of this series is for me to learn how the professionals play so I can improve my game. So Today we're going to be watching State vs. Alive. Alive is to the Terran and State is the Protoss. And I believe they are both at the Grandmaster level. That's cool, these little banners are awesome. So a little bit unusual thing that I'm already, seeing, already noticing is after the Supply Depot he pretty much just waits and I'm assuming he's going to go ahead and make a command center and as a Terran player myself I don't think I've ever been that aggressive in my uh, build order so that was pretty interesting to see uh, meanwhile Protoss does create the gas and the Vespian first before expanding so he's a little bit later than his opponent but then again compared to what I do these expansions are coming in much faster and also an interesting note that the barrack well the supply depot is positioned here at the ramp the barrack is not blocking the ramp uh, which is again different than what I do and I'm curious as to why maybe that's not the best strategy um, I suppose if the guy has a bunch of stalkers it might be like and you have guys behind it you can't you don't get that concave shape uh, but at the same time I'm like kind of thinking about the DT rush but hey that's a silver league mentality I'm sure there's many other ways to handle that so um, I always kind of like to see what it looks like from the point of view of the players and how much they micro manage oh my gosh let's I want to see how he kills this probe Not super exciting, but that was pretty cool. Upgrade complete. What did he just finish upgrading? Upgrade complete. Whoa, 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 whoa! What? Are you there are no upgrades. I'm not really sure what's going on. Um. So he's gonna go ahead and make a couple more factory and three more barracks with the reactor uh, and he does see that he doesn't know that he has an expansion although perhaps he presumes it um, and he does have a refinery on one on each base so he is actually closing off his ramp so uh, that does sort of reconfirm potentially initially what I was thinking whereas this guy literally has no units although if you look at what he's got he's gonna go ahead and do an adept rush and I'm curious to see how he manages this here it looks like he's just keeping it in front of his base to contain him and potentially be used as a scout uh, but isn't why isn't he focusing on okay it looks like that's surprising that they don't actually watch so much of what's going on until the critical moment in which there is some engagement going on so again the ability to multitask is pretty surprising I'm guessing the APM here is whoa 200 that's even more than what I've seen in my other casts of some of these high-ranking peoples around 150 is the past couple of that I saw but 200 is pretty insane uh, especially on the part of blue um so i'm gonna looks like it's interesting he's got that this thing on patrol here so he's able to kind of manage both sides he is only on two base so far and he looks like he's going ahead and creating a warp prism with what the heck is this oh he's really racing researching adept stuff uh and it looks like he is doing a good job of maintaining scouting whereas the Terran I'm surprised to see hasn't 
Well, he does. He is protecting himself with one patrolling Viking. Or perhaps it's not patrolling. Uh, but I'm surprised to see. Whoa! Looks like he went ahead and. Oh my goodness. I think he totally destroyed some of these probes here. I totally missed that, guys. I'm gonna go back and. Go back and look at that real quick. <coughs> oh, terrible. Oh man, I'm so used to just watching my own games, I can't even keep track with these pros. I apologize. Silver League Gamer here. Let's just, uh, let's see how this goes. Let's see how he manages this from the perspective of his. Alright, so he kind of just leaves. He kind of has the guy going in. Alright, he boosts at the last second, drops it, drops two, and it, uh, wow. Yeah, this guy responded really fast to that, and he's probably just trying to get on out of here, which he is able to do successfully. So, <clears throat> he does go ahead and kill four workers. I apologize, five workers, uh, but he does have that observer that does go out. In the meantime, Red is scouting him around, uh, and I'm curious how many, yeah, it's about 20, oh, looks like a big depth drop coming in from the west side, and let's see what Terran does to, oh, I think he's suspecting it was some kind of um, if it was DTs. Oh, okay. But it looks like he has split up his forces trying to trick the opponent, his Terran opponent, but, oh. And he does actually do have a DT. Does have a DT here, <coughs> but it's gonna get killed pretty quickly. Um, so he's pretty much... Did a Widow Mine... Two tech labs with three barracks with a reactor, a widow mine drop. Oh, let's see if he's gonna react to this. And he does take it down very nicely. It's not looking good for Protoss. And he goes ahead and salvages the bunker, creates a creates uh, a supply depot. Um, yeah, so similar trend to before, he's got about 20 SCVs per base. Curious to know if he, he is continuing to create SCVs, uh, and it is about the 7 minute mark. Um, but he does not have his third, he looks like he's going to go ahead and roll out in two groups here. Let's go ahead and see how Protoss handles this. He does not see the drop coming in. It's a heavy drop. He flees his forces. He goes ahead and takes down the pylon. The depths are coming in strong. Does a stutter step behind the gateways. I'm assuming he's going to pick these guys up when the time strike. Or oh, I guess he's just going to take out his whole army here. Uh, and he does also come in here with the drop at the same time, just as he's reacting to this other drop. Classic multitasking here, and he's using his Widow Mines. I'm curious to know, he does have a 1-0 upgrade. The Photon Overcharge does go down, but not before he has instilled a significant, significant amount of damage. He's killed... 19 workers and 40 units uh, 31 units I'm sorry uh, but Red actually has done well as well he's killed 13 units and 40 units so um, I can't I can't tell who's on top I mean I know yeah I would say it's pretty evenly matched at this point oh mothership core gets a little bit too aggressive so at this point at eight minutes into the game 
they are still on two base each just about expanding I am curious how many like what's the structure okay so he's got like five barracks that's significant and an armory so yeah that's a pretty whoa and another drop going down <clears throat> versus the five gateways and it looks like he's another two-pronged attack which he is handling pretty well it looks like his other drop is gonna do a lot better uh, he does go ahead and retreat on that side but not retreat really yeah Protoss is in trouble guys I'm sure this is significantly affecting his income. Uh, he is not able to extract all his units, but I'm sure. Yep, Taren is is uh, making a couple more barracks up to seven, and I would presume that he's at sixty workers now. Fifty workers, okay. Perhaps with the mule count. Um, and why I was saying that I thought he would have 60 workers is I was just kind of guesstimating that uh, 20, 20 workers per base is pretty good but perhaps with the Proterans and their uh, and their mules it may not really be necessary to continue building SCVs like I have seen Zerg and Protoss continue to build out SCVs uh, so he's at a 1-1 one, one now, and a big battle going down, a hallucinated Archon here. Uh, he's really... Oh wow, look at that, he's got some Liberators here. This is not looking good for Protoss at all. He does have the two pylon structure, which is a pretty common structure I've seen in the past three games. And he's going to go ahead and march into his main base here. This is a very marauder heavy army uh, and it's working well for him. That is good, he has <coughs> he has uh, extra scans for the Dark Templar and the GG does go down. So uh, yeah that's pretty much it. I'm gonna go actually play a real game but I'm just gonna go ahead and look at yeah, a significant number of Barracks. He pretty much capped out at two engineering bays, 50 SCVs. Surprised he didn't really invest too much in missile turrets. I mean, he's got one missile turret here, and he had that patrolling Viking, uh, but it was really the multi sided drops that were really working well in his favor. Um, ultimately, marking out his opponent yeah i'm still getting used to so much activity in these battles but um yeah and it, it is pretty educational for me and it looks like he was able to have three reactors here and two reactors and three tech labs um yeah that's pretty much it guys no planetary fortress I will talk to you guys later. Hope you guys enjoy this. Please consider liking, subscribing, commenting, or sharing. And uh, yeah, I'll, I'm going to continue this series because this has been educational for me. So talk to you guys later. Bye.